kitchen with drew drew's in the house with my lovely wife dr tanya gold Hello. we are making what are we calling it A cheeky cheeky chicken salad today pasteurized so it's all organic ingredients we've mm -hmm. got them all laid out here in front of us yes. it's a very simple process i always start with a couple of eggs i'm going to show you here how to do this mm -hmm. if you're not familiar with this all you do literally is just take a fork and squish the egg and all you're doing is you're squishing the egg squishy 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 <laughs> squishy squishy and that's how you break up a hard-boiled egg so we hard-boiled these we just break it up like that now we've got some egg in here we're actually going to take all of this chicken and just dump it in there this is about a two-thirds of a rotisserie chicken and then we've got some fresh chopped spinach leaves I love my pickles. Okay. Gotta have pickles with the salads. <laughs> We've got some fresh chopped celery. Yes, all organic. All organic stuff. Some diced red onions. Some diced carrots. And the nice thing is, honestly, you can buy up cut up vegetables. Cut up vegetables to keep it simple. And some green onions. Yeah. So what we're doing this week is going to be pretty busy for us. So we're prepping because we have goat yoga tomorrow, and then I have a bunch of patients I'm seeing this whole week. So we just wanted to keep it simple. We boiled some eggs and we're gonna have chicken salad stuff. Yep. Nice easy, out. nice easy meal, just pull it out of the fridge and eat it. The key to a successful chicken salad, in my opinion, organic tarragon. Tarragon, tarragon chicken yes. salad is outrageous. So I'm gonna I like to go a bit heavy on the tarragon here. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my tarragon in. I also love dill. Whatever you like, add your seasonings that are all good for you. And then we're not gonna make it too wet. <laughs> we're gonna have a couple of good scoops of olive oil mayonnaise here you can see it's a just a regular olive oil mayonnaise and then all we're going to do is stir it up yeah so it's much better than the regular mayonnaise it's just literally olive oil so instead of a vegetable or canola oil base we use yeah. an olive oil yeah. remember mayonnaise is nothing more than eggs mm -hmm. and oil that are mixed together if you want you can add a little bit of salt i generally salt. don't add salt you want but if you want to add just a little bit of salt to it, and you can see it doesn't take much to mix it. And there we have a nice, beautiful tarragon cheeky chicken salad there. Cheeky chicken. Woohoo! And of course, my lovely wife okay. Let's see. gets to taste it. Mmm, that's good. And they, you know, honestly, if you're vegan and you don't eat meat, you can get these vegetarian options as well. They yeah, have they have the fake chicken exactly. patties. Morningstar Farms. Actually, a better one is. Oh, what's the name of it? Um, it's non-GMO. Okay. I can't remember. Okay. That, that's we'll, real we'll blank. Bring that but in Morningstar again. Farms is not a non-GMO product. So, the, what you're going to look for when you look for the mm -hmm. the fake meats is you want to make sure that they're non-GMO. Mm -hmm. So that means they're using non-genetically modified soy mm -hmm. as the basis for it. So corn is a good one. Um, there's another one that's just slipping my mind, but it's usually right next to Morningstar Farms, and oh. you'll see that GMO label on is the it bottom. Is the green of it. one? No, like no. it's a, it's in a white bag. So yeah, we'll look for it. Our nice tarragon cheeky chicken salad. Ooh, it's really this yummy. This is Drew in the kitchen with my lovely wife. Yeah, Tanya, Dr. Dr. Gold. Dr. Tanya so Gold. So cooking in the kitchen with Drew, and we just a simple way to eat healthier and uh, keep it simple for the kids. So that that way, when they get home from school, you can just pop that out, give them a nice chicken salad, or if you want, you can. Have it on a salad it's really yummy. yeah throw it on a bed of lettuce mm -hmm. you know it's a great great you can make sandwiches out of flatbread sandwiches exactly. things like that dave's if you're gonna use bread dave's bread is really good because it's organic mm -hmm. very very hearty a lot of protein in it all natural whole grains things like that yeah so. and german bread has high fiber so that's a really good one and then the carcass you can use for a nice soup Yep. So the kids We've already sick. frozen it. Like yeah. I said, it was a it was an organic mm -hmm. um, rotisserie chicken Pasture that we picked rice. up. So all we do is we've got the the chicken for this. We save the rest of we save the carcass mm -hmm. with the rest of the meat. Mm -hmm. Boil it with some. I generally boil it with red onions, celery, and carrots mm -hmm. for a couple of hours. It makes a nice nice chicken soup. Yeah, keep it simple. And then you know if you don't want to eat the same thing every single day, 
Then you can have a few other things like some salads, beet salad, um, some regular, um, what else are we gonna have this week? We're gonna make egg salad, which is our next video. I've already made some fresh guacamole. You've seen that video so before. Yeah. So we're just throwing together a whole bunch of ready-made meals to make it nice and easy. <laughs> so again, this is Drew, Dr. Gold's Optimal Living Institute. Your health matters. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs>